you are with God, when you have been praising Him so many times, when you have been doing puja every day, how can your ignorance continue to remain? So, he makes it a point, Lord, you have to take it today. So, this is told in this way. So, he says, you take away the ignorance and then knowledge will come. When the ignorance goes, only knowledge remains. Knowledge is already there. So, the ignorance is supremacy, you need to remember. You are knowledge. You are all knowledge. You are He. So, the moment you take away, what remains is pure knowledge. So, I'll what else? Swamiji, you were telling about some uh, uh, saint. Uh, I, I didn't remember that name or all who went to the scientist, some conference, and he was telling. Swami Sharanada. Swami Sharanada. Swami Sharanada speaks about atomic physics in one conference. I forgot his name. There is a there's a place. There's a place called Gazipur about 80 kilometers beyond Kashi. Since 1993, many times for the Chaturmasya, I used to go and live there. There is the ashram which was established by a blind Swamiji who was well known as Swami Sharanananda. He was there very much. And our Babu Rajendra Prasad, when he was president, he used to go to him often for satsang on Sundays. In those days, he never used to take security and all that. He'd simply go and he used to be there. And that Sharanananda, one day, Babu Rajendra Prasad came in the morning. He said, Swamiji Maharaj, come on. Uh, get your set prepared, we are going in another 15 minutes. Uh, uh, we are to uh, leave for Bombay. Come along with me. He didn't ask why. He said, okay. He required only one more days, one Angavastra and one Dhoti. He had. And one Kaupina. That's all. He took it. His Shishya was following him. So, Sharanananda, Ishishya and uh, Babu. When they went, Babu Rajendra Prasad directly took him to the Baba's Atomic Research Centre. At that time, Baba himself was there. There is a day on which there was to be an international seminar on the progress made by the atomic science. Atomic science. So, Babu sat in the middle. Next to him sat Shalanji Maharaj. And there were a lot of scientists from Russia, from Germany, from Spain. And they were all given headphones where when somebody talked in English, a man who doesn't know English, the Russian, the Russian fellows, Russian scientists, it will be automatically translated to Russian and he can hear it. So the Spanish fellow, he will hear it in Spanish. A man from Kerala will hear it in first class Malayalam. <laughs> what Malayalam? Uh, first class Malayalam. Yes. So, and so many people came. They read their papers. There is a little discussion about it. And then the organizer requested the president, please give a talk. President got up. I request Swami Sharanandaji to give us an Anugraha Bhashana on the present status and the future of atomic science. He got up with his dirty clothes here up and his half 
the dhoti was not up to the end like me in a very gentlemanly way. It was only up to this, like Gandhi's. That's all. When he got up, some of the foreigners, foreign scientists, no, what this fellow is going to talk, this fakir, they went away. But many remained. Shalaranji started, started his talk, and he talked so well about the present and the future of atomic science. He was talking of electrons, he was talking of positrons, he was talking of cositrons. My Lord, this Swamiji talking of mesotrons and all these things which are not known to an ordinary man even. They were all simply surprised. For one and a half hours he talked and there's heavy applause from all the scientists. They were all taking notes and it was all over. The president said, nothing more from me. Then all the people came and surrounded Swami Sharanji, all those scientists. They asked, Swamiji, perhaps before you lost your eye, you must have studied in Harvard University, is it not? Where did you study? <laughs> Otherwise, how could you talk like this? He told in his natural, crude Hindi. Are bhai, mai kaha bola? Ye to wohi bola jisne is atom ko bana ya, usko malu nahi kya? When they asked, he said, Hey, where did I talk? The fellow who did all these atomic bombs, who created the atomic bombs, the Lord, he himself talked. And doesn't he know when he has created it, he doesn't yeah. know about it fully. So, I also enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, can I know? 